Hey, how's it going guys? Shade here, back with another deck profile and today I bring you my Sword Soul Undefeated 3-0 deck profile. So, I went to locals today and I had nothing ready so I just decided to take good old Sword Soul. Um, and yeah, I just went undefeated against Unchained, Branded and uh, Mikanku. Mikanku was actually my toughest uh, matchup, actually. Uh, it's actually kind of annoying to deal with. But um, we made it. We won 2-0 against Unchained. We went 2-1 uh, and, and against Brandon and 2-1 and against Mikanko. And yeah, it was a really fun uh, the Mikanko matchup, especially because uh, it was really, really, really um, hard. I really needed to do my best to win that one because it was really, really, just really hard. Um, yeah, uh, I'll apologize in advance for the quality of the video, but my tripod broke, so I need to record this, uh, so that I, I can give my take on it, um, for you guys on my laptop webcam, and if you know laptop webcams, it's atrocious, okay, so, uh, I'm apologize, but I needed to show you guys this, so yeah, let's get into our deck profile and if you like my videos drop a like comment down below if you have any ask, uh, any questions and yeah subscribe to never miss any of my content let's go main deck 40 card sword soul engine we start triple moye triple long yorn double tire triple ecclesia triple emergence Double blackout. So Moye, Long Yuan are the best to start off because you can just discard monsters or use monsters in your hand to play with them. So uh, Taya needs you to have already engine in your graveyard. So uh, it's not the best, especially because it can be easily disrupted since it's not an ignition. It's not a trigger effect. It's an ignition. So uh, yeah, Taya is not the best starter, but he's really good on, uh, for example, top decking situations. Uh, it's really good to just top deck into it as a, your one card in your hand and just go and banish from the graveyard and get your plays going. Um, so yeah, Ecclesi is just either Taya or Moye for free, and it's it's not use it doesn't use your normal summon if you go second. And Emergence just consistency again. Uh, you basically play nine Moyes and eight Tayas. And two blackout because this card is insane going first, and I love it. And I think I you should play two. Uh, you don't want to just lose access to it when you have to discard it with long yarn. Uh, I like to. Yeah, that's our sword soul engine. Going into the tennis, we have triple Ashna, double Vishuda. This should be three. This card is insane going second. Is much better than the second Adara, which was what I played. Play three, cut this back to one. I ended up siding the second Adara every game. So just play three of shoot one Adara. You were not going to miss it. Um, and it won't uh, stop you from having the going second full combo to play your, uh, and just completely disrupt your opponent. And the one Shitana, because Shitana. Uh, it's good situationally as a level four body that you can get to extend your singles if they get you get disrupted on, for example, Moyi for some reason. If you get Ghost Ogre on Moyi, you can just get this with a Shuna since you have a token on the field and go single eight instead. Uh, you obviously don't want to summon this off of a Shuna most times, but in case of of an, a really really uh, in case you really need it, it's good. Also, um, the to round off our um, thingy package, two Heavenly Dragon, which was completely insane, this card, to just go and dodge everything, to use it on the link to dodge the Unchained, uh, uh, unchained uh, Link to the Souls, uh, to just dodge Book of Moons, Imperms, it's just really really good i love this card and it 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 helps you dodge everything and just gets you to more uh, uh 
more plays you can use it like as extension to get to a moye or a tire from your deck i love this card absolutely would play three and Play the Sword Vishuda. It's insane going second. You really want this. You prefer to see this over a Dara. This does more by itself than a Dara. I played two. It should have been three. That's it for Artemi. Going for our end traps. Triple Ash. Ash is just insanely good generically. Must have in. Uh, when you have like lots of spaces, it's just insane to have. It's an FTK against Brenda most times, and uh, it's just really good generically. This was my miss. Uh, I would not play Effect Veiler again. Uh, it's only good going first. Uh, it's uh, it's a really a really really mad card. I don't like it. I played it, but I would play anything else over it. I would. 100% trade it off. I did. I just did not have anything better. Oh, you have Nibiru, of course. It's insane in this format. Uh, if you want to play it, you can absolutely play it. It's so good, and it actually helped me one uh, game against uh, a chain. Triple Imperm because it's insane as an end trap. It's way better than Veiler. It's really good going first. It's really good going second. Uh, you can use it as a board breaker or a, to interrupt any combos. Really good. And Triple Book of Moon because it's also good going first and good going second. It's a board breaker just like Imperm, imp but can also be good going first. And that's it for our main deck. Getting into our extra deck. Two Temi Link 1s and the one Link 2 uh, standard. Uh, link 2 is mandatory as a nice option to extend. The two link ones are ex extremely mandatory to just uh, go into your uh, Tenmi place to disrupt your opponent. Really good uh, ratios. Going to our synchro, starting with the Sword Soul synchros, two Chi Shao, one Long Yuan, one Chen Yu. Chi Shao, you don't really want to play only one, you want to win, go for this almost every turn. Uh, I did not miss the third one, and it, it's just really good. It's a negate on your opponent's turn. Uh, it's a negate um, that can also, if you on your turn, get you like um, extensions, get you the long one, so you can go into a synchro ten. Uh, I like it a lot. Actually, love it. Uh, long you uh, since we're not playing Baron, this is a budget version because I do not have money for Baron. So, uh, yeah, uh, Long Yuan is the one that I end up making the most because it's like a double disruption. It just banishes one when your opponent special summons and banishes another when your opponent has a spell trap. Really good. And it burns. So, time rules. This is really, really good paired up with, uh, with the normal Long Yuan. Really like it. And yeah, Chen Yang, it's really good. It's non targeting removal when something is banished, it protects itself from dying. By banishing a card, so if your opponent tries to go over him, he just protects himself and banishes one from their field and one from their grave. And also, you can banish Tenyis, because banishing cards in this deck is just on demand. You can do it whenever you want, and just non-banish it. This was our out against Mikanko. This is the only out in this deck against Mikanko. They can't, cannot be targeted. So, this, luckily, I had this that could just... I will just get like a Shuda or a Dar and trigger this. <laughs> Insane. Really like this. That's it for Sword Soul Synchros. Yang Zing package. Two Boxia, one Yazi, one Shao Fang. Boxia is insane going second, especially with the um, Tennis, because you can just shuffle two with this if you make it with the Tennis, shuffle one if you make it with the Sword Souls. Either way, Disrupts your opponent's boards and can still like pop one to get a tuner from your graveyard. Insane. Um, Yazi, uh, really good too. You can make it with Taya by banishing Emergence. Uh, Synchro 7, pop one and get, for example, a Moye to go Synchro 8. Really, really, really good. Really good, Yazi. I only used it once, but it was really helpful when it when it, when, it, when, it, when I needed it. Really, really clutch. And of course, Xiao Feng, since we have no Baron, this is our way to play around Nibiru. I'll show the combo later. Uh, it's a three card combo, but uh, it's really not that hard to open it. Uh, trust me, I opened it a lot. And yeah, these are Yang Zing package. 
And then the last two synchro, they have one Ice Jade Mirror, because it's insane against Randas. They try to Mirror Jade, you chain this, banish Mirror Jade, and then since your opponent cannot banish your monsters, they are uh, they end up just banishing their own monsters. So it's a minus two for them, and you get protection. This card is insane against Randas. And Draco Tenny, because it's a nice option to go for a synchro Ice. I don't have Drag Ice, I could probably play Drag Ice, but I will not, don't know if I would play Drag Ice over this. This is still really good. I like Tenny a lot. And for the last two spots, I decided to play Super Poly targets. Because Super Poly is an insane board breaker because it cannot be responded to. I love it. And it was really good, especially going into Brandon because he was playing Dogmatica package. So going first, he won the, uh, the dice roll and he lost that game because he was just, oh, Maximus. And I went, okay. And I dumped this tool. I got a draw from Garura. And I basically started my um, my turn, uh, actually not with seven cards, but with six because I ashed them. But I started m with an extra card, and in this deck, getting extra cards for going second, which you really love going second, actually, with this deck, it was really just insane. It ended in immediately. I mean, I, I just uh, had a lot of non-engine that could go over him, I had the tennis, I had Swarzo plays, uh, I don't know, I just like him, and it's really budget too, because Super Polys are like 50 cents each, with the Speed Rules uh, package, uh, Madragon is 50 cents, and Garura is 6 euros, not 15 like it used to, so it's like an 8 euro package, it's not expensive anymore. Going into side deck, triple draw, uh, it's really good, it's really strong, but it's situational. There are really de a lot of decks that can just play around this. I played against um, against uh, Branded and Enchained, and this did not do anything at all against him. It only was good against Mikanko today. Uh, so yeah, it's really strong. It completely kills and ends, ends the game by itself. But you, you just can't really main it. You can't main it, unfortunately. You, you just can't anymore. Of course, triple super poly because it's a broken board breaker, can't be responded to. Triple evenly matched because it's also a really insane card that's format you need it. Playing second, this is good against combo decks, against back row decks, it's just really good. And uh, for back row eight, as we were talking about, Double Cosmic, one Harpies, even though there's protection in this format, I just, like, Harpies just gives you way too much advantage if you pull it off for me to just play three Cosmic Cyclones. I love Feradacer a lot. And last three cards are Beastle Package, one Drusworm, two Baldrake. If you uh, don't have money for Drusworm, because this spiked recently to 10 euros, uh, it, it is really on insane prices right now. Uh, you can just play two Baldrakes, one uh, Magna, and it's fine. If you money is not a problem, just go double Drew from one Baldrake. I just only have one Drew Swim. So I went for one Drew Swim, two Baldrake, and it was nice. It was actually good when I needed it. Okay, going now into our combos. Uh, you only need like a Shuna plus either Bishuda. Or Adara. So let's do this too, since I'm going to change Bishuda to 3 next time. And if you don't have another Worm, you need Taya. But uh, yeah, Taya. I'm going to show two combos. This is a 3 card combo, but it's like the most insane combo you have. And it's not that hard to open it at all, especially going second. Not that hard. You have 6 cards in your hand. Um, you have lots of ways to just go into this, even if you don't open this tree, but it gets more complicated with circles and stuff like that. So this one is the most basic one. Uh, let me just take out the cards that we need for the combo later on. Okay. Yeah. Let's go into it. Tokens right here, so you know the zones. 
just get my extra deck up here. Okay, so this is really good going second or first. First is still insane because it plays around Nibiru. Um, but the great value is going second. So you go Ashuna, special, link it off for Monk. You want to link for Monk, and then you can special the Shuda since you control uh, no no effect monsters. And then you can go Ashen effect to banish and special Adara. Now Adara and Vishuda can synchro eight. For Baxia and Baxia here, since you use the two different attributes, shuffles two into the deck, right, easily right there. Two shuffles, no normal summon use. You still have Vishuda to just shuffle another one and you shuffle two. Really nice shuffling two. You now use Vishuda to shuffle a third one, and you can go Baxia, pop Monk, bring back Adara. And then you can synchro this off for Shaofeng. So we shuffle three cards, and now we're um, basically immune to Nibiru because Shaofeng, your opponent cannot special or activate effects of monsters with the same attribute as the Yangzing monsters to use on his synchro. So we use Baxia. So no lights are able to do anything. This was really good, exceptionally against Branded. Because they can't use Quam, they can't use Labellion Diffusion, they can't use Labellion the, the Bestial, they can't use Cartesia. It was just insane against them. Um, so yeah, you got out of, rid of Nibiru, just go Taya. Taya, banish the Monk, get Token. And now since you have a Token, you can banish Adara to get Ashna back to your hand. And you'll just Synchro 8... Kishaw. Kishaw 1, Taya 2. Taya can just send another Tanny for next turn, for example, a second Vishuda. And Kishaw just gets your long one, and now long one will send Ashuna, get itself, get a token, and Synchro 10. It is where I like to go into long one. You can go into Chang'an or Ice Shade instead, but I prefer long one. So yeah, this was your going second combo. You shuffle three cards, you got your uh, light lock, and you got full combo. Now, uh, let's go for example just Bishuda, any random Swordsoul card, um, or a Worm. Plus circle. Let's do this one. It's really also really good going second, and you open this a lot too. Uh, if you get Heavenly Dragon Circle, it's really insane to just uh, go off. So this was what I did against Unchained. I just got this. Uh, I booked the rank six so that I could go into my Tenny, and then I just link one. Force out the link two they have. They try to use a uh, monk with the link two to go into your, their link three. I chain circle to tribute it and get. Uh, where do I have it? Your fucking moye, 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 moye. So I shuffle their link two. I book the other monster. They only have uh, the trap. But uh, they, I mean, they, uh, they had a trap. Yeah, they had a trap. Um, so, um, yeah, they only had the trap. But the trap was just to special summon a monster. And they could not special summon the link because the link was shuffled back. So the trap was, like, useless. It was just, like, to block. Um, so you got Moya with Circle and you can use Moya to reveal Ashna. Get Token. Synchro 8, Kishao, Long Yuan, Long Yuan, Token, and second Long Yuan. 
And this was the combos that I did the most today and the ones that you really will uh, enjoy the most. Uh, as you see, it just loves going second. You can just do a lot in most boards. You just dis uh, go through disruptions really easily, especially if you play circle. If you play circle, this card is insane to just go into uh, disruptions. And of course, you need to see your non-engines. You have like 14, 15 spots of non-engine in this deck. If you play like uh, the build I, I, I have, I have like 14 non-engine. So seeing non-engine is not a problem at all. So yeah, this is my deck profile. I apologize again for the bad quality, but I just wanted to give you guys this deck profile. Um, I will try to find a try to fix this soon, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.